So congratulations on the movie, first Thank of all. You. I really enjoyed it. It's Thank you. hilarious. Thank you. Um, you're such a busy girl right now. And by the way, I'm loving you in Mad Men. Thank you. Yeah, you're amazing. And I was wondering, how did this movie come into your life? Well, I got a call. I had met Jason briefly on another thing, and um, they asked me to come and do the table read for this movie. Mm -hmm. And then I got a frantic call 20 minutes later from my agent saying that I needed to do a British accent for it, and everybody was very concerned with my ability to do that. Luckily, I had been secretly working on British accent tapes in my own in my spare time, so almost oh, for no have. reason. <laughs> yes, I just for, had been working on them on the way to work. I thought it was a good thing to brush up on, and it turned out to definitely be because I sort of had that in my back pocket and said sure no problem and so I went and did the table read and then everything went from there. Awesome. You have a fabulous musical act in the movie. <laughs> you realize it's gonna be a hit, right? I hope so. Because I left the theater last night and Dancing. literally everyone was singing it when they were leaving the theater. That song is incredible. Yeah. Have you ever taken any musical lessons or you know my father is a singer, songwriter, guitarist and, and he I just grew up singing with him and, and singing he would play gigs and I would sing with him then and I have some girlfriends that I kind of sing with in sort of band situation sometimes recently so I, I, I enjoy singing sure. Great and what was your favorite thing about working on this movie? It was just just all the people involved were so great. Nick Stoller is an amazing director and an amazing human being and just being able to be part of a, a comedy with these people whose work I admire so much and, and an Apatow film which is like to me, it's the holy grail of, you know, comedic producers, and yeah. this whole experience has been amazing. Okay, so my editor is a guy, so that's a disclaimer to why I'm going to uh -oh. ask you the next question. Uh oh. He tells me that your breasts are such a hit on the internet <laughs> that you have whole worship websites dedicated to them. Um, How do you feel about that? You know, <laughs> uh, it, it's very flattering. Uh, I, I, I certainly appreciate it. My mother. My mother, on the other hand, uh, doesn't get it. How about that? My, I've, I've fielded calls I from, get the same thing, from so. my mom, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, I've, fielded, I've fielded calls from my mom just saying, you know, the internet seems to love your breasts. I don't get it. They, they don't seem that great to me. Oh so my thanks God. thanks a lot, You're mom. Yeah, she doesn't appreciate them as much as the internet does. Oh my God. What do you think intense people the most when you do your British accent or... <laughs> Probably my breasts. <laughs> <laughs> so after this movie, what do you think is best for a couple that's in love to wait to get married or to get married right away? I think maybe not right away. Give a little bit of time, but not too much time. I think, you know, you don't want to let too much time pass. As we see in the movie, it doesn't turn out to be the right move. You got to just go with it. If yeah. you, you know, if you feel like getting engaged then move forward and get married. I got married in six months, so... Too fast? Or no, still going? No, it was perfect. See? If I had waited, it probably wouldn't be so good. Right? <laughs> yeah. I think go with it. And so, what would you convince... What would you say to convince Brazilian audience to get up and go to the theater to watch this? Oh, well... You know, <laughs> I think this is a great romantic comedy. It's different from other romantic comedies you've seen before. There's something for guys and girls. So guys can take their girlfriends. They won't be totally bored. There's plenty of dick and fart jokes for them as well. And Jason Siegel's ass for the ladies. <laughs>